Nuclear half-life. In any macroscopic sample of any radioactive substance, there are a great number of nuclei. These nuclei do not decay all at once. The decay is random, and the decay of one nucleus has nothing to do with the decay of any other nucleus. The number of decays during a specific time period is proportional to the number of nuclei in the sample, as well as the time period. Mathematically, this is called exponential decay. The time it takes for half of the nuclei of a specific isotope in a sample to decay is called the isotope's half-life. We denote this T subscript one-half. The isotopes of each element have different half-lives, ranging from microseconds or less to never decaying at all. The half-life of an isotope is defined as the amount of time it takes for half of the original amount of the isotope to decay. For example, let's determine how much of a sample of 200 grams of an isotope with a half-life of two years is left after six years. Each two years, half of what's left of the isotope decays into something else. So after two years, half of the initial 200 grams are left, that is 100 grams. After another two years, or four years, or after two half-lives, we've only got half of that 100 left, or 50. And after another two years, we have only half of the 50 left, or 25 grams. If we did a plot of the isotope mass in a sample versus time, we would get an exponential decay curve. Here's another way of solving this problem. What we need to recognize is that in an interval of six years, we have three half-life periods of two years. So we have three half-lives, and we're going to use symbols x for the original sample size and y for the final sample size. The two in the denominator in this expression represents the sample being cut in half after each half-life. So we have the final sample size is the original sample size divided by 2 to the n, that is, halved n times. So in this particular case, where we have six years, three half-lives, we're going to use y equals the original sample size divided by 2 to the third, or we end up with 25 grams.